Breaking at five, the man charged in a police chase that killed a detention officer will spend years in prison. CBS 17's Derek Lewis was in the courtroom today when Tamaris Parker took a plea deal. And this high-speed chase in Durham ended with a mother losing her life. I've learned the driver of this stolen car is Tamaris Parker. Parker, dressed in an orange jumpsuit and handcuffs, didn't say much in court Tuesday. He agreed to spend at least 239 months behind bars for killing Brooke Maynard, an off-duty deputy, in August. Prosecutor Del Morrill tells me this dash cam video shows Parker violating more than 30 traffic laws during the chase. It's frustrating that we have laws and laws get broken. And it's unfortunate, and part of one of the reasons here is the speeding to elude. The chase ended when the stolen car crashed into Mainers, and officers forced Parker out of the car at gunpoint. And this is the worst case scenario that can happen when you make that choice. Maynard leaves behind a daughter. Her family sat in court during the plea deal. They're in grief. They're, they're tore up. They've, they've lost a daughter. We can never fix that. I can never fix that. It's, it's, if, I, if this person gets 50, 60 years, or they get five years, that's not going to fix anything. I've learned investigators discovered Parker had drugs in his system the day of the chase. He's been behind bars since the incident. Muriel says even when you're in the right, defensive driving helps. You still have to be alert and defensive that somebody else is not doing what they're supposed to be doing on the law, and you may be able to save your own life. All charges have been dismissed for the passenger in the car during the chase. In Durham, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS 17 News.